Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make the cart page more interactive with JavaScript. Currently, if you are updating anything, it reloads the page and everything is in liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Vue.js to make our cart page use JavaScript to update or delete anything we have here. For example, if I'm changing any of the quantity here, it is not going to change that unless I click update the cart. When you update the cart, it is going to reload your page and it is not what I want. So these are the features like your website must have. It should update that like behind the scene using Ajax request and it should just notify the user your cart has been updated. So those are the things we are going to do in, the, in this video. So it might take a little long but it is worth uh, of watching because you will learn a lot of techniques. So let's start. Currently in this page we do have Vue.js but in this page we do not have any instance of Vue.js. So I'm going to select this portion of the page and I'm going to say this portion of the page should run a Vue.js instance. If you are coming from a jQuery world, the way I'm going to say is I'm going to select this portion of my page which is going to be the cart form here. For example, if I come here, we have a form here which is submitting a post request to a slash cart and this is updating our cart. So what I'm going to select, if you check out this green, the blue area here, I'm going to say it is going to be selected by view and anything inside this one will be a view instance. So let's do this one. If I come to my page here, I will close everything. Going to the source and the component directory, we have a product form. This is what we did in the previous video for the adding product and using Ajax request from the product page. I'm going to uh, save this one as a cart form.js here. So this is our file. And now what I'm going to say is, instead of the product form which we have a check here if this exists i'm going to select both of them and i'm going to say it is going to be cart form cart form is a class i'm going to say if you find a cart form select this one and it will be a new instance of it also instead of the id here i'm going to leave it empty because we do need the id here the quantity let it be there we do need the form also so we can remove it completely i'll save it for now but we do need add to cart right not exactly the same function, but we let it be there. It's fine for now. Now I have to register my file here. I have created this component, but I haven't registered this one. Coming to the app.js, I will duplicate this line and I will call it cart form and I will save it. That's it. Now if I come to my browser and let's give it a refresh. If you refresh it, coming to view, it still we do not have any instance because we do not have a cart form class. So I will come to the cart template which is in the section folder we did in the previous video and give my form a class here. So my form will have a class of cart hyphen form. If I save it for now, as you can see, I am running the npm run watch here behind the scene as well as the theme watch. So it should ch uh, check for any changes. And this time if I refresh my page, Let's see if uh, if we have the root instance. Yes, we have the root instance of view. And as you can see, now inside this one, we have all the data we need. So what is this cart page here? So what I'm going to say is, all of this cart data currently coming from liquid file. So what I'm going to say is, these data should be stored in JavaScript. How I can get those uh, data from liquid and store it in JavaScript? It is quite easy. If I send any request like a guest request to the cart.js, it is going to give me everything about cart. That's easy, right? So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. If I come to the cart form here, what I'm going to say is, if this component is created, in Vue.js, we have something called view life lifecycle. So in the view lifecycle, what you can do is, you can say if something was created or mounted, then you can call something. So you can write it above the method or under the method anywhere you want. So it is called created. So created is like document dot on load or on ready something like that. There is something uh, other things like mounted. Mounted is the last thing that will run in a component in the Vue.js. If you don't know about the view lifecycle, just give it a search. You will see a very nice chart of view lifecycle and how the created and methods are going to be called. So what this created is going to be, the created should call a function for us and that function should get the product for us and it should store that in an object here. I will give it a name of cart here. This is just a property, currently it is empty. 
What I'm going to say is, after this component is created, fill this card with the information from the card.js that we had previously. So to do this one, I'll create a function. You don't need to create a function, but it is better to write a function which is a lot clear. Now I will call it get card and what this function is going to do this function is going to send an ajax request which is a get request to the slash card.js and after it come back it will come with the data right so then will be ca call if it has successful request and catch will be run if it has any error so to do this one i am going to run an anonymous function so here I will use the ES6 style to run a function without dealing anything. So what you can say, you can say response equal to the bracket. And it is going to work the same way here. So this is the ES6 arrow function. If you don't know about the arrow functions, you can watch some video about this one because this is easy. Arrow functions, you don't have to write anything. And also, if you're using arrow function, you will have access to this keyboard. And now when you are saying this, this is referring to the whole component here now i can say easily this dot cart which is my cart here is equal to response dot data response dot data will be the data that is coming from cart dot js so it is if it is successful it should give all of this data to us and then we can store that data to the cart here once we have those data we can easily display those data in our page here using javascript or vue.js you will learn a lot as i said in this video so now it should be fine if you have any error just notify the user with an error there was something wrong so i'll copy this error here uh, which is a notification we did in the previous video i will just indent this one yes is some notification i will just give it there was an error simple like this i will save it for now now if i come to my view here let's give it a refresh once i refresh it let's see the root component here currently it does not have any state the reason is because it didn't upload maybe so let's give it another refresh to see if everything is working fine as you can see we have the root but the cart is empty again so let's check out the console we do not get any error if i come here yes we are sending a get request to the cart.js which is fine we come with the response but the cart is not getting updated so what is the reason behind this one let's console.log i'm debugging for you this is how you do this one let's console.log the response and see if our response is successful or not now the error is there is no error behind this one we wrote our function but we never called it so to do this one i'm going to say this dot get card if you catch it successfully so it should be fine now as you can see if this component is created just call this function and this is going to call our function so first of all it should console.log our response then it should store it to the card here this time if i refresh it let's see if everything is working fine if i come to the view instance let's check out now i should refresh again because it didn't upload it i will come to the console as you can see the data is displaying here it means we have the data which is fine if i come to view let's check out yes our card has an object here now this object will contain all the information for us the item is the important one the items are every product here is as you can see currently i have three products in my card these are like three objects here if i open this one first of all it will show you the discounted price and all the property the handle and if it is a gift card or not if it has like a product image the key all of these stuff which are very useful if i scroll down here it has the title of the product also the product title here which is very handy so it is all the information i need now i can display all of this information uh, information using vue.js and this window here so let's come to the code here and let's do this one now since this is a selector for us and if i come to the cart here now i will have access to all of those information he here so now what you will learn here is about how you can loop through this product and display it here this is the important part vue.js is a lot similar to liquid so let me show you how you can use yeah 
uh, some of the code I will not do everything in the video because it will take a lot of time I will do most of this behind the scene so if you are going to run a loop like the liquid it is exactly the same in Vue.js you can use a template tag which is like it is not going to be rendered on the page it uh, if you are using a template it is just uh, for using any condition like v4 or vf if you're writing any condition something like that so if you're running a let's say a for loop just use the template the template is exactly like this it will not run on the code but it will run your condition for you now if i am going to say v4 it is going to say item in cart that items exactly the same thing as you can see here now i can completely remove this one and if i scroll down where it ended this is end of the four here now i will select everything from here and bring everything above press shift and selecting here now i will bring everything one level up as you can see our for loop is started from here and our for loop will end it here using the template now i can give it a little bit of comment here and for loop to make it clear like this is our for loop that ended here using view now here is an important part in Vue.js, if you want to output something you will use the same technique as liquid so how come it is not going to conflict if i'm using two bracket here and if i am using item dot title how come it says if you it use view or uh liquid it will have a conflict if i do this one let's see the error here if i save everything and refresh it let's check out the console page first of all it says the items is null which is fine it, the reason behind this error is not because we are using items here the reason behind this error is because when we are refreshing our page everything you can see on the viewport here is running but the item is null because the item is not filled yet if you check out the view.js here the root here now it is filled but since this is an ajax request it will come after a few seconds so that's why it is going to give you an error to fix this error i will put everything inside the function i will cut everything and again i will use template and i will close template now inside this one i'm going to write a function using v hyphen f it is the same if card if you just say if card it means if card is not empty and you can paste all the code here if i save it now it means if card is not null then go and run the for loop if i check out the error again now let's refresh it now you should uh, not see any error but your code is not working here as you can see everything is mixed up so you may not see any uh, let's say error but this has a serious conflict with your code because this assume it is Vue.js but it is not view and liquid thing it is liquid but this is a view so to fix this issue a uh, view has something called delimiter delimiter is how you can change the output of something if this is the only way you can output something on view and liquid in view you can change that one they give you this option if you i come here and you can write your delimiter here if i come to the documentation of vue.js and the delimiter delimiter is how you can specify it you can you can just write the example they give you if i put it here no and instead of using two brackets i'm going to use dollar sign bracket this is how it understand this is a view instead of uh, liquid if I save it for now now inside my template here instead of writing all of this here what I'm going to say is I'm going to dollar sign and then item dot title if I say this one now it is going to understand this is a view one so it should open anything related to view.js if I refresh it for now it should display the title for me but everything else is not working here because as you can see these are liquid these are all liquid so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill all of this behind the scene and then i will come back and we'll see what happened so i filled up everything behind the scene and let's see how everything is working if i come to my product page and refresh the page everything should work fine because i did it behind the scene so let's check out what i did some of the changes that you have to know for example if i need any if condition just write we using the template just write the template and use 
if and this is how you can do this one you might have noticed I have used like uh, if previously in the tag but this is how if you want to use uh, we if or v4 without using any tag so you can you can use template if I scroll down here as you can see for this one for the title I am outputting using the delimiter and everything is working fine and scrolling down I'm using V model for the quantity and everything is working fine except for some places like translation I don't have to do this one again the source code is available on github you can uh, check it out below the video but if I come to Vue.js and let's see how interactive they are if I open the items currently we have three of them I will open the first one and let's see how you can change the value here because we are using two in model binding if I am increasing or decreasing the quantity of this one as you can see currently it is two and this is also two if I increase it three four five six seven nine and as you can see everything is working fine if you delete this one it's still it is going to delete it from there so everything is working fine now is the time to work on the update card here if you click on the update card how it is going to update my card here it is important it should send an ajax request to the shopify and tell the the shopify this product with the current id should have this quantity that's all it should do right so if i come to the shopify api if i scroll up to the top it is said that sh using shopify ajax api if i scroll down here is what we are interested in card update.js if i scroll down here this is how it, it is going to work you can send a post request to the update.js with these parameters what is this parameter it is going to accept an object that uh, this is the first parameter or the first value of this object or the key is the where an id and this is the quantity where an id the quantity that's it since we all we have all of those here in our cart here in the items so what we can do is we can use javascript to grab them and create an object for us to create the quantity of them and the id and everything should work fine right so i already did this one behind the scene and i will show you how also the code is available so if i save this file also coming to the card dot form i have created a function called update cart and this update dot cart should do the same thing as i said first of all it should create an object for me like this it, this object should be based on an uh, our cart right so if a user is going to update everything here like 9 or 7 or 5 this card definitely update so this data should be up to date with this one if someone click on the update it should send the proper information to the user so this function that you can see here it use accumulator it is something new in e6 and we are using the redu the reduce function here so what it is going to do you can use reduce function and apply it on an object here it is a javascript skill that you must have if you don't know it is something very important so here is how it is going to work you can use it reduce and it is going to call a function the function will accept two parameters the accumulator and the target the target is going to store each item in your items which is going to be each product and now you can get your target dot there in id which is the id as well as the target dot quantity and put it together and once you put each of them together it will return it to the result here it is super super fast and what is it is going to create it is going to create an object like this id quantity 3 comma ids then quantity something like that it will create it for you something like that and it will store it in the result so this is exactly what we need once you store it on the result i can pass the object uh, the object here and put the result which is going to be all of this information if i check out the api again exactly like this so that is exactly what i want and then it should send a post request to the card after it was successful show me the success message otherwise show me an error so let's check out if everything is working fine currently it says five so if i update the card i see a successful message here if i refresh the page to prove if everything is working fine yes we have five items in our product if i hard reload it if i bring it one update the card cool if it's working fine refresh the page again yes it is working fine using ajax request we have updated everything and as you can see everything is working fine except the price are not in dollars so i will fix this one in the next video 
Also, if you check out the cart here, I have uh, done some changes in the mini cart. We will focus on the mini cart also. The only remaining videos are about working on the performance of the website. Also, some image optimization using la using lazy loading and mini cart. And then I will show you the resources of how you can complete your design for the team. And then you have the winner for the person who make the best team. So I hope it has been informative. I know the, the video is long. It is late night here and I'm recording this, recording this and I'm putting effort for this one. So I hope it has been informative. Again, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.